Okay, so just a quick video to show us quick comparison between sea foam and water decarbonization method. Now, um, I've also seen some comments from quick Chris Fix videos talking about how great sea foam is, but I just want to clear up a few things on that particular subject, well, in that particular video. Now, I love Chris Fix's videos, so it's no knock on him, but I just wanted to explain why the results there may not be as quite, you know, as quite as, as, as true as they, they were meant to be. Now, one of the things is that he used um, a lawnmower engine to do this test on. Now, the problem, with, like, it may work fine on a lawnmower engine, you know, um, seafoam, but the problem is, is that the internal combustion temperatures of a lawnmower and the internal combustion temperatures of an engine are totally different. Hence the reason why the lawnmower can drive around and be air-cooled, doesn't need no radiator or anything to cool it, and a car engine needs a radiator and the temperature has to be constantly regulated. So, you know, from the fact that they're actually running at different temperatures, the, the carbon's gonna be baked on differently. So, you know, the more intense the heat, the more, the more harsh the environment, the tougher that carbon's gonna be. So, you know, you can expect the lawnmower to be in a slightly, the carbon inside the lawnmower to be slightly looser, slightly softer than it would be in a environment with higher temperatures. Also, um, he actually soaked one of the pistons which is not really how seafoam instructs you how to do it. I mean, you can do what you want at the, end of the, at the end of the day, but it's not how you're instructed to do it. So I guess that soaking probably helped a little bit with bringing down and breaking down the carbon. Now, I personally believe that even if you use diesel, which is the industry's cleaner, it would actually act in the same sort of way to break down the carbon if it was, allow, if it was allowed to soak in that sort of sort of form but in my video i actually show how it is in a in a real car engine and i show the results from a car engine using the way that it's instructed in on, on the um on the can now once again this is no knock to chris fix i think his videos are fantastic and you know he really does pull out some good um some good content so i'm not knocking chris fix's video i'm just trying to clear up the reasons why the results may be different so now in my video, I actually used it in a way it was supposed to be used and did a before and after test on the combustion chambers. I also did the same thing using water. And as you can see in the, in the clips that are going past, you'll see the water one versus the uh, seafoam ones. And these are all the after um, tests. Every, all, the, all the images you're seeing is the after test. So once again, I'm not trying to knock anyone. I'm just trying to state and clear up any misconceptions that may be there. So um, yeah, that's it. If you want to watch the if you want to watch the whole videos, the link will be in the description. Um, and yeah, that's it. If you enjoy my videos, comment, rate, subscribe. If you want me to test anything, please let me know. And thank you for taking the time to watch my video.